guys, how's it going today? We are bringing it back old school and we are diving into a good old fashioned empties beer. Now I have been accumulating this stuff for such a long time that it has just become ridiculous. This, I have done really big empties videos on my channel before, but it is literally exploding out of this bag. Ah! So I'm really looking forward to sharing these products with you and most importantly, be able to put this all in the recycling bin. I'm going to try and be really quick. It's very difficult for me, but I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to try to be really quick so we can get through all of these products. So let's go. So first product we have is the Mac Fix Plus. This is the matte version. I really do like this one. Have repurchased. We'll continue to repurchase. It's definitely better than the normal Mac Fix Plus. If you have oily skin, if you have oily skin, definitely give this one a go. I'm going to keep the packaging out though because I want to back to Mac it to be able to pick up a lipstick. So um, keeping this, but yes, would repurchase. Love it. It's good. It's good. Next up, I have the Rexona Clinical Protection Deodorant. Guys, I'm a sweater. I'm a sweaty lady, a sweaty person. So I need something that's got a little extra like in it. I love these kind of cream deodorants that you put on it. They really do help you if you suffer from excess sweating in the underpits department. Love it if you're a sweaty lady. Definitely check it out because they're good. So this is how you know you like a product, is when you have to cut it into three pieces to make sure that you get every little bit of product out. This is the Redken, what is it called? The Extreme Mega Mask. So basically it has a mask, but also has like this active ingredient mask in the middle. So when you squeeze it out, they are kind of combined and get a get activated. I don't really know the science behind it, but I did like this one. So yes, would repurchase. I love the smell of it too. It smells so good and your hair feels really soft afterwards. So yeah. I have a La Roche Posay Zero Zinc. Uh, wouldn't repurchase this one. I got it in like a little pack, so that's why I had it. I don't feel like it did anything for me. I've got a few more kind of sample sizes as well to get through, but I wouldn't go out of my way to like purchase this one at Priceline or anything. So yeah, probably give this one a miss. I have two of the Neutrogena. These are kind of face creams. I have one which is the water gel one, which is the one that I would wear during the day. It's like a daytime moisturizer. And then I also have the nighttime one as well, which is a little bit thick and has these kind of like beads inside them. I do love these ones. Even though I have oily skin, I feel like they do a really amazing job at hydrating my skin. I have oily skin, but it's definitely dehydrated. So this one has hyaluronic acid in it. And I think they are fab drugstore moisturizers. Would repurchase these ones, even though I'm an oily skin girl, they are fab. To be honest, there's probably more of these in here, but these are the Daiso brush cleaning products. So I've got like the brush cleaner. This is like a spot cleaner. Um, I've also got the puff cleaners as well. And then this is just a sponge and brush cleaner. They're great if you want to spot clean your brushes and if you want to clean your beauty blenders. I wouldn't use these ones on your brushes. I find them just to be a little bit too harsh. So beauty blenders, beauty sponges, real technique sponges, whatever beauty sponge you like to use, these do work great. I think that the pink ones work a little bit better than these ones even though they're bigger um, but the pink ones I think work a lot better especially on the Real Techniques one and the original Beauty Blenders feel like this one gets them a lot cleaner than these doodads here do so there's probably more in here but this is what I've got in my hand at the moment so we're getting rid of those ones would repurchase highly recommend they're great next up we have Neutrogena these are the makeup removing wipes these are so good guys if you want to get your makeup off I do really recommend these ones they don't sting my eyes they get every little bit of makeup off my skin and they just do a really really good job I wouldn't use these ones as like a cleanser but say if you just want to get home and take your makeup off before going to the gym that's why I mainly use these ones because I'll go from like work to the gym and I don't want to like bring a cleanser with me or anything like that so I'll just pop these in my gym bag gets all my makeup off because I hate wearing makeup at the gym I just feel like that's like a clogging pore recipe, especially for me, who is like acne prone central. So I always had these in my bag, would repurchase them, love them. They are good. They're good. They're good. Next up, I have this Paula's Choice. This is a skin balancing mask. This is a good mask. If you have sensitive skin, this will sting. My skin was like, Ugh! when I use this one. So if you have sensitive skin, just do keep an eye out. It is really good though. So if you do suffer from acne prone skin, breakouts, blackheads, this does a really good job at kind of like sucking it all out. Um, but I can't use it too often, like once a week max, because my skin just like tingles, especially if you like go in and like shave your face beforehand and then put this on. Oh, just don't do that because it stings so much. So only use this one on non shaven skin because like, damn that. It's so bad. So I would repurchase this one, but it is a once a weeker, that is for sure. 
Next up, I have toner. This is the Neutrogena toner. I do think that it is a good one if you're wanting to pick something up from the drugstore, but I have found one that's even better. This is the Anadool. I really don't know how to pronounce this one, but this is what it looks like. I have the full size in my bathroom at the moment, and this one is better. It is more expensive. It's around $19, $20, I think. This one you can probably pick up like under 10 maybe at Coles or Priceline, but I do think that this one is better. Good option, but this is better. So there's some toners for you. Next up, I have a fake tan. This is the Bondi Sands One Hour Express Fake Tan. It is so good. If you leave this on for like three hours, I really have to be careful because I've left this on for like two hours before and I was like, I was so, so dark and it just looked ridiculous on me. So I really need to make sure I only leave this on for like max an hour and a half. It just gives me a nice tan where I don't feel like a white like beached whale at the beach if you know what I mean especially blending in with the sand which is what my normal kind of skin color is this just adds a nice glow I definitely look darker but I don't look like ridiculously dark and it just makes me feel more confident if I'm going to be going to the beach so yes love this one I love that it's really quick because if I get told in the morning that we're going to the beach in the afternoon I can put this on for one hour and I am set still so it's not one of those ones that you have to like think about the night before like if you do this in the morning and you're going out in the afternoon you are set to go no joke it's great love it we've got some more hair care this is the fudge clean blonde conditioner i think this is nice i bought it in a pack i do think that the shampoo is better than this it's a conditioner for me i don't feel like it does anything miraculous but if you can get them in the pack for like 30 dollars, it's so much better than just getting like the one shampoo because i think the shampoo is like 24 dollars. so if you get these in a pack for like under 30 it's a great deal i mean i always need conditioner but i wouldn't go out and purchase this one separately Next up, I have some sunscreen. This is the Sun Sense Sport SPF 50. When we went up to Queensland, I seriously like inhaled sunscreen because I am so pale and I burn just by looking at the sun. So I really needed to kind of dig into my sunscreen collection. I finished this up. Nick and I love this one. It is really high strength SPF, but it doesn't leave that horrible kind of like thick white gross sunscreen texture on your skin. And I don't feel like I've got like a heavy layer of gross stickiness on me. I think it's great. Definitely would repurchase this one. It is a winner. I have another sunscreen. Guys, if you ever see this, what is it? The Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration 12 Hour Moisturizing 50 SPF Sunscreen. Guys, do yourself a favor and pick this one up. Firstly, it smells like tropical holiday, coconut island paradise. And secondly, it feels as if you're just applying like lotion to your skin. It's not tacky, absorbs really well. And best of all, it is 50 SPF. This was in my beach bag every day. You go to the beach and you apply it and then you like put your hand in sand. It doesn't stick to it. Like you could pour sand over you and then once it dries and brush it off, like it doesn't stick to you. It's so amazing. I would definitely be repurchasing this one if you're after a really good sunscreen, which like doesn't feel like sunscreen. Definitely pick this one up. It is bomb. Next up, I have a hair mask. This is the L'Oreal LV Extra Oil Hair Mask. Guys, this is shit. If you ever see it at your supermarket or a price line or wherever you get your hair mask from, don't buy it. It was a waste of time. I literally just had to like force myself to use it. It is so old. Don't get it. It's crap. I didn't notice any difference with it. It smelled gross too, so ugh. I swear I'm getting to makeup like it is just all the hair care and face products at the top So I have a Joyco. This is the moisture recovery shampoo. This is what it looks like um, It just was a shampoo. I didn't really notice it doing it's like so much dust around here. I didn't really notice it doing anything Amazing with my hair, but I mean it was an alright shampoo probably wouldn't go out and purchase it full price but if they have one of those like packs i might give this one a go but yep that's that one i have a body wash this is the original source sweet apple and vanilla milk body uh, what is this called body wash <laughs> i couldn't remember this the word body wash this is great i love the smell of it i do like this brand i just wish they came in like a bigger like bottle like this is only 250 mils it is really cheap though um but i just would appreciate like a bigger one so uh i would repurchase this one i've currently got dove in like a pumpy bottle at the moment which is like one liter so um like i said would repurchase just wish it was a bigger bottle i have another one this is the same original source mint and tea tree look i really love this one i feel like it smelled like christmas candy canes nick on the other hand he, I mean, this is probably TMI and I did notice it as well, but if you like put body wash and, you know, get it a little bit down south, it gets a little bit like 
tingly, like breezy, fresh feeling down in those areas. So just be really careful when you do use this one. Don't be like washing, like if you are shaving down there and you're using like a body wash as like your kind of shaving, I don't know what you, shaving aid. <laughs> I don't know if that's what you would call it, but you know what I mean? Like a soap, don't use this because it is just like, the mint in it is just like, especially on the lady pants. So just be wary of that. But as a body wash and the smell, it's really, really nice. But yeah, just be careful. I really don't know how to pronounce this brand, guys. But this is what it looks like. This is a face wash. It is the uh, lemon kind of creamy cleanser. I did think it was really good. But I will stick to my La Roche-Posay Efficlat. I just feel like that's the best cleanser for my skin. And my skin loves it and works really well with it. So I won't be deviating from that one again. But this was nice. But Efficlat is better in my opinion. I have another one of the Neutrogena. This is the Night Concentrate um, Moisturizer. You guys know the drill. I love it. It's good. Good stuff. I have a few more things from that brand that I cannot pronounce. I actually got it in a little kind of gift set that Priceline sent me. So this is the kind of more skin clearing kind of range I would get, I guess. So this is the um, cleanser. And then I also have, this is a, what is this? Ugh oil-free moisturizer again I've cut the top off that one um, moisturizer ugh, ugh, whatever the moisturizer is a good daytime moisturizer if you're after nighttime I would give this one a miss but daytime it is good cleanser was good but again I would stick to my effort club but that's those ones there more hair care this is the Joyco moisture recovery conditioner I did think this one was okay but I think that the Redken like mask which I actually just used as a conditioner really is better than the Joyco one So I wouldn't go out and like repurchase this one unless it was on sale in a pack I mean it was okay, but I definitely think the Redken like extreme mask that I chopped up was way better than this one Now I'm like purposely trying to dig out and get all the hair care like out of the way This is the fudge clean blonde sh toning shampoo like I said, when I had the conditioner, this is better. I do think this is a really good purple shampoo. If It will leave your hair looking that little bit ashy and purple. So if you like that look, it is worth picking up. I have two more of the Daiso sponge and puff cleaners. So it's another two there. I have another one of the original source body washes. This is in coconut and shea butter. I do like this one. This one is really, really nice. It smells really, really good too. So I would go out and purchase this one again. I have my Batiste. This is in the Eden scent. It's probably one of my favorite scents I think it's really good Batiste is the only dry shampoo that I use I think it's great would repurchase this one I just have to wait till they go on sale because like originally I think it's like nine ten eleven dollars for these ones maybe even more so if they go on sale for like six dollars I pick up a few but yeah these ones are really great I use them every single week pretty much maybe two or three four times a week depending on how often I wash my hair so yeah these are really great I have two perfumes that I've gone through. This is, oh, so much dust on it. This is the Zara Wonder Rose Perfume. Zara has some really, really good perfume. I think these ones are only $20 and $30 and they are so good. It smells amazing. I also have the Ralph Lauren. This is the blue. I love this perfume. This is like, oh my God. I love this perfume. This perfume is like me in a bottle. I absolutely love it. I really need to pick up another one, but I just, I don't like buying perfume for myself. Like I just want to have it for like birthdays and Christmas and stuff, but my birthday isn't till October. And I actually don't think I can last that long without this one. So yes, definitely would repurchase both of these ones, but Ralph, Ralph's my fave. She's my fave. I have a La Roche-Posay Ethicla Duo Plus. This is kind of like a skin clearing uh, cream that you put on your skin to help reduce breakouts and help prevent them as well. I do find this one does help my skin. I only go out and purchase it though when it's on sale because I think it's like $30 normally. So I need to wait till these ones go on sale before I go out and buy them. But you know I love it because I've cut it open and dug every little bit out of this. So yes, I would repurchase it. Love it. Yeah. I have a, a dermal hand balm like hand cream. This is, I mean, this is just a hand cream. I mean, it is non-scented, just a basic hand cream. If you suffer from sensitive skin, dry, dry skin definitely helps with dry skin. If you have dry hands or like elbows, this works wonders, but it is just kind of like a basic one. And if I'm going to use like hand creams, I like for them to smell, be like a little bit more like spary, luxurious kind of, this is just like plain Jane really in my opinion, but it was nice. If you like unscented plain things, you might want to pick this one up, but I probably won't be repurchasing this one. This is what I'm after when I'm talking about hand cream. This is the La Octane hand cream. It is the uh, almond milk. 
one whatever the green kind of packaging one this is what i want when it comes to a hand cream it smells amazing really beautiful kind of like that nutty kind of smell love it i just got this one like in a little kind of sample thing uh so i don't know if i go out and purchase them because they're kind of expensive but if i got gifted one I'd be very happy. So yeah, love this. I do also have the L'Octane. This is the dry foot cream. L'Octane does um, like their kind of Christmas advent calendars and the ladies at work had like the advent calendar and this was like my like number when I opened up the advent calendar. It's really nice. I did put this one on before I go to bed and feet wake up and you wake up and your, your feet wake up. Your feet wake up and they're so smooth. You wake up and your feet are really smooth and hydrated. I do think this is a good product. So if you're after a good quality foot cream, definitely give this one a go. She's good. She's got the goods. I have a Nip and Fab. This is the Glycolic um, Fix Mask. And guys, you know I love it because I've cut the tops off. This is really good. It's a glycolic acid mask which you put on your skin and it really helps to go in and unclog pores, reduce fine lines, smooth skin's texture. It is a good one from the drugstore. I would go out and repurchase this one, but again, it's one that you can kind of only use weekly if you have sensitive skin. It is high strength and does cause me a little bit of irritation, so do keep that in mind, but it is a good mask if you're kind of delving into kind of glycolic acid but you don't want to spend too much money. This is a good one to start off with. Next up, I have a moisturizer. This is the Face Shop Chia Seed Lotion. It is a really nice lotion. If you really like really spa kind of perfumed face products, you will love this one. It's not overbearing. If you're not into perfume, it's not like really in your face. It's really soft and subtle and just like, oh, it's so, so nice. With my oily skin, I didn't find this leaving me extra shiny or anything like that. It's just a really great face lotion. You only need the tiniest little bit it goes a really long way. So I would go out and get a full size of this one. I think I got it in a Bella box, but it is awesome. I have a L'Oreal. This is a face mask. It is the exfoliating and smoothing face mask, like the ready toned one. I did think this one was really nice. I did feel like it did exfoliate my skin. If you're after a exfoliating face mask from the drugstore, I think it is a good option. Next up, I have another hair mask. This is the Coco and Eve Like a Virgin um, hair mask. It was really good. I mean, I keep seeing so many of those like Instagram videos of all the girls like combing it through their hair and everything. But guys, it actually is really good and it smells amazing. And I actually did notice a difference. So I would go out and purchase a full size of these ones. It is not just like an Instagram like gimmick. It does actually really make your hair feel super, super soft. I think it's actually better than the macadamia like oil one whatever that brand is i feel like it's better than that so i would recommend this one and i would go out and purchase a full size as well i have two shampoo and conditioner combos these are the redken color extend bondage shampoo and conditioner they are what i've been using at the moment in the shower it's what i've got in my hair at the moment it does really catch on. As you can see, I've kind of got like little purpley bits. Look, I had a really bad dye job and this shampoo and conditioner is just really holding on to those really white parts. And the lady who dyed my hair, I've got like these really kind of more yellowy parts. It just didn't get blonde enough. So it looks a bit funny at the moment. It's not the shampoo or conditioner's fault. It actually looks a lot better than what it is if I don't use it. So anyway, um, I do really like these ones. I've already got them in the shower again. They are really great. The shampoo does a really good job at toning your hair and not turning it kind of green. It definitely leaves it more of that kind of purpley violet tone. Very rarely do I like the accompanying kind of conditioners to these blonding shampoo toner combination things. But this one actually leaves your hair feel really soft, smooth, hydrated it is good and i actually would just repurchase the conditioner by itself um but i do like them in the pack and i obviously really like the shampoo as well so these are a winning pair love them i have the not your mother's heat protecting spray and this still has stuff in it because it's shit <laughs> it leaves my hair so freaking sticky like i spray this in and my hair like you go over it with your flat iron and your hair is like stiff and like if you try to like kind of crackly crunchy feeling it's just not good um it's not good don't recommend this one whatsoever don't buy it it's yuck Ugh. he seriously has such a hard time he just wants to get in the bag he just wants to get in the bag why are you looking at the roof you want to get in the bag look at you that's you he's a good boy he's a good boy Mm. Okay, on there. I have some Blackmores. This is the Bio Zinc, like, uh, pills. 
uh, supplements, whatever. Look, it's for like skin health. I was going through a really rough patch with my skin. I have another hair product. This is the Kerastase. Um, I think it's an elixir volumizing elixir for your hair. I have enough volume as it is. My hair is so, so thick and crazy. I swear when I don't straighten it, it is like out here I swear so I do not need any help in the volume uh, department but I did feel like it was a nice kind of finishing shine enhancing spray I guess but I would not go out and purchase a full size of this I did feel like it kind of made my like weighed my hair down a little bit as well so mm, I would pass on this one another face product this is the ordinary hyaluronic acid kind of skin treatment this is what it looks like here I love the ordinary products I just feel like it's Logan, get out of the bag! Because it was just too much for my skin having them all at once. So it's an either or product, not a together with. So I uh, would repurchase this one, but again, not using it in conjunction with my moisturizer. Logan, I have a mini of the Sand and Sky. This is the pink clay mo like exfoliating one, not the original. It's kind of the spin-off exfoliating mask. It's all right, it's expensive, but I did like it. But I do feel like the L'Oreal like red clay one does a similar job and it's so much less expensive. So I would probably pick that one up before I went and purchased this one, but it was a nice mask. And if you do enjoy the Australian pink clay kind of brand, and you have the money for it. It is a nice mask, but it does sting a little bit. So just keep that in mind as well. Look, I really hope this is last for skincare and hair care. I think the rest is makeup, but I have one of the Clean and Clear Advantage. These are like the little spot treatments that you put on your to help dry them out. I do really like these ones. I do feel like they help to reduce my spot and kind of get it healed quicker if I do use this one. So I would repurchase it. It is quite like intense though. Definitely don't pop it on any kind of like open breakouts, only on like a whitehead situation that you haven't like popped or like dug at because if this gets into an open one, it, it stings. It stings. So only on a closed breakout, but it is really good and I would repurchase it. RIP to a Real Techniques Miracle Sponge. She has had better days. She's just gone a bit crusty, broken off a little bit. And look, I have other ones. This one has just gone to the gods. Real Techniques Miracle Sponge are good sponges. Um, and I would repurchase them. So yeah. Now we are on to the makeup. First up, brow products. These are all the brow products that I have gone through so far. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Five of the Maybelline Brow Precise Eyebrow Pencils. These are really good pencils from the drugstore, really creamy, but also hold your brows in place. But I just feel like you get like no product when you use them, hence why I've got so many, because they run out so quickly. There's just like not enough product in them. But if they were on sale, I would pick them up because they are handy just to have. They are a good brow product if you are after something cheap from the drugstore. I have one of the NYX Micro Brow Pencils in top, similar to the Maybelline one. It is a good brow product. Product, I definitely wouldn't purchase like the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Wiz over this one or the um, Maybelline ones. I feel like they're just as good. But again, I found something which I like even better, which is the Chi Chi London like pomade brow pomade. That's kind of what I'm using at the moment in conjunction with another product, which I'll show you in a second. Probably wouldn't go out and repurchase this one over the Maybelline one. I think the Maybelline one's just like a tad touch touch better but this isn't a bad option at the drugstore either another brow product this is the Australis micro brow brow pencil again another good brow product from the drugstore if you live in Australia definitely check out the Australis ones I feel like it's a really good option I think it's better than the NYX one and probably on par with the Maybelline one and I think you get a little bit more product with this one or maybe it's just my eyes because it's like a bigger product but Anyway, it was really good and I would purchase this one again if I needed to. Now what I am loving and using in conjunction with my Chi Chi London Brow Pomade is this. This is the Total Brow Temptation Brow Pencil in Blonde. It is very similar looking to the Anastasia Brow Define with that kind of larger triangular application. I do feel like it is very similar. It does a really good job and I have been using it kind of the front portion of my brows to kind of make them a little bit more natural before going in with the brow pomade 
for my kind of tail and arch area of my brows and if I'm after something that's really really natural and kind of just like blown out kind of really relaxed I'll just use this without using the brow pomade so I would repurchase this one I actually have another one on the go so yeah they're great I have two mascaras the first one is the Maybelline Big Shot mascara I have another one of these going on at the moment in my makeup collection it is a good mascara if you're after volume uh, if you are after length I don't feel like this really provides the length but if you're just after volume it's a good mascara but I do like the essence I love extreme volume mascara it is like my favorite and it's so cheap I think it's like five or six dollars at essence and it is great if you already have longer lashes and you just want a little extra volume definitely pick this one up it is a winner so yep those are mascaras so we have some foundations to go through. First one is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Look, I'm in two minds. I got the completely wrong color. This is ivory and it is so yellow so I just don't feel like I was able to give it a really fair go because I got it in such a wrong shade. It is so so yellow. I literally look like Lisa Simpson if I wear this one so I wasn't able to apply it generously only like a little bit and then I don't feel like it helped to control my oils because I'd only applied it so sparingly if you know what I mean so um no at the moment I I mean maybe I uh, I'm just gonna play with the shades and there's other foundations that I know that I like better so I don't know if I would go out and purchase this one lots of people love it but I don't know if I'd go out and repurchase it just yet this has still got some left in it but it is so old and crusty I'm literally just gonna go pour it out this is the MAC face and body foundation I bought this because back in the day Nikki tutorials raved about it and I wanted something that was lighter on the skin but was a little bit more water heat proof my idea was wear this one to the beach because I was really self-conscious and I didn't want to go to the beach without a little something on the skin so I wanted to try this one out firstly I went there and I got the wrong shade this is C three and it is way way too dark for me even when I have a fake tan on so uh, there's that and I feel like I just look like an oily mess with this one I just don't feel like it's suited to my skin type so I probably wouldn't go out and purchase this one and I will be back to macking it so I'll add that to my collection but personally I would give the MAC face and body a miss. Next up we have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. This is in the shade 112. Um, I do like the Matte Poreless foundations. I just feel like maybe this one is a little bit pink for me. I don't know. I just feel like it's slightly off in color but I do think it's a good foundation so I would repurchase this one. Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. I would repurchase this one 100%. I like that this is a really pale shade. I don't typically, I don't know what it is, but when I'm really, really pale, I don't typically like a really full, full coverage foundation. For some reason, when I'm pale, I just feel like it just looks really cakey and heavy for some reason. I feel like when I'm my pale self, I want something that's more of a medium, light, well, medium. I want it to be a medium coverage and then to spot concealer, add extra coverage with my concealer. Um, I just feel like it's too much when I'm all pale. But this was a really nice foundation. I have purchased in darker shades to help match me when I am a little bit dark with my fake tan. It was a good foundation. If you have oily skin, I would recommend it. I have done a video on this one, so I will link it up in the cards if you're interested in a first impressions. This one I am just chucking out. It is the NYX Total Control like Custom Drops. It did not work for me whatsoever. The texture the finish it's just not oil controlling enough for my skin I have again done a wear test on this foundation I'll leave it linked up in the cards if you wanted to check it out but for my oily skin ladies I would give this one a miss I just don't think it was worth the hype and I don't think it's really that great now what I do think is really great if you have oily skin Estee Lauder double wear this is like my holy grail foundations I really want to pick up a few darker shades to test out for my wedding day because I feel like I want to wear this lady for the wedding day or maybe Max Studio Fix foundation. I haven't decided as of yet. I want to get a sample of that one because I haven't tried it out. But a darker one of these ones would be great. I have them currently in Shell 1C0 and I had it in Ivory Nude 1N1. This is a little bit more yellow base, whereas this is a bit more pink. I feel like this is a little bit of a better match, but I think combining them is actually my perfect shade. This is just too pink. This is too yellow, even though it is a neutral. So I really want to kind of mix them together to get my perfect, perfect shade. So yes, if you have oily skin, definitely pick this one up. I think they're really great. I have some concealers. This is the Laura Mercier Under 
cover pot. I got this from Adore Beauty one time just to kind of test it out when I was really kind of starting to delve into makeup. Um, this is what's left of it. This is kind of more of like a corrector and this is a concealer. The concealer I think is just too heavy. It's too thick. Um, I did use the, it had, comes with like with a powder underneath and I still have a little bit left of the powder. I don't think it's as good. It's definitely not as good as the just normal translucent powder, which... I have right here. This is the Loose Translucent Setting Powder. If you have oily skin, definitely check this one out. It is my Holy, ugh, holy Grail? Holy Grail um, Setting Powder. I love it. Um, I wouldn't purchase this kind of trio again. It's kind of rubbish. But the powder is really good and I would recommend. Two concealers. This is the Match Perfection 2-in-1 Highlighting um, Concealer. You know it's a good one because I've cut it open. I do really love this one and it is a fab drug store concealer. It doesn't provide super crazy coverage, like it's not a um, shape tape by any means. But if you like a little bit more of a natural, hydrated under eye look, this is a good option. The Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, I feel like this is a nice concealer, but it does make me oily. If I go in and highlight underneath my eyes and do that big triangle thing, forehead, chin, I am an oily mess. This does not control my shine. So I would only use this one to really conceal lightly under my eyes and definitely not as an eyelid primer because it just creases on me. So it's nice, but uh, I need something a little bit more heavy duty just specifically for oil control. So two concealers for you. I have a, this is a nude eyeliner for your waterline. This is the Rimmel one. I love it. I've already got one on the go. It is a great nude eyeliner. It definitely holds up in your waterline. If you have watery eyes, it's waterproof virgin. It is a really good eye pencil. Would repurchase. Do recommend it. Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. You know I love it. I've cut the bejesus out of this one. Ooh. It's fab. If you have oily skin and are looking for a good drugstore primer. This is my holy grail primer. I use it every single day. I think it is great, especially from the drugstore. I think I can get it for like six or seven dollars, which is a bargain. So I would really recommend this one if you are oily skin and are looking for something to keep you matte throughout the day. It is a good option and I love it. And last product guys, Rimmel Translucent Powder. Guys, uh, I feel like I did an all right job at setting my face but it leaves me really pink like it is a pink pink powder if you put this one on like I already suffer from a bit of like redness or rosacea in my face so when I apply lots of foundation sometimes my face can look still pink and my neck really kind of just neutral but my face looks pink under the foundation this adding this on top is like extra pink layer to my skin so I wouldn't repurchase this one. I feel like I just stick with the powders that I know. I actually really am enjoying the Too Faced Sweet Peaches powder. I think that's a really good powder for oily skin as well. I think just save up the money and buy the good stuff rather than getting this one because it just wasn't worth the money. We did it. We are done, guys. That was so many products. Thank you for sticking around if you have made it this far into the video. I know there was a lot to get through, so thanks for sticking around. If you have tried any of the products that I mentioned, please let me know your thoughts down below. We can have a chat. Even if they're products that you maybe you really liked, which I didn't, or vice versa, let's chat down below. I would love to hear from you. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a big like, thumbs up, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Have a fantastic rest of the week, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.